Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I found Piper outside of the run today. I was like, how did you get there? She was sort of, she jumped over the green mesh. I found her there, I was like, wait, what are you doing there? Um, Realised she can get out, she'd eaten loads of plants, which she probably shouldn't have done, which kind of concerned me slightly, well, quite a lot. And also the other day I slipped over the fence. <laughs> it's quite funny, really. I got like a, a big bruise here and just completely like decked it over the fence. That's all good, doesn't it? Um, I need to rearrange the rabbit's outdoor area for the winter because it's not quite how it should be and it's not secure. Piper can jump out and I can fall over and my mum fell over as well. So it needs sorting, really does need sorting. Today, what we're we doing today, Vinny? Well, you're not doing it, no. So I need to make a better pathway, I need to make it more secure for them because, well, for Piper, Big Reef will never escape even if the doors are wide open. So my plan is to move this fence further into here. I don't want to give them less space, however, I feel it's the only solution really. And the grass is going to get really muddy and ruined over winter, so unfortunately they can't stay out on this all year round, but we'll get it to grow nicely again, you know, for the springtime, whatever. So I need a pathway where I can walk all the way around without ruining the grass. So I'm going to have to just take the fence in a little bit so I have a little bit of a pathway. And also I need to start out down here because she actually jumped over, she jumped over down here, so that area needs sorting here. And that's probably about it. For lunch today, I've decided to go for a deliciously Ella recipe. I do really like the deliciously Ella recipes and yeah, I just think they're really simple to follow. Um, I'm going for this one. It looks really delicious and we've never tried it before. It's pesto with butter beans. So it looks good. I'm probably just gonna use like, um, like a jar of pesto because I'm too lazy to make my own and just add the rest because yeah. I'm, I just can't be bothered. vegan cheese on it. <laughs> guys so it's actually the next day and I didn't really get around to finishing the rabbits yesterday and that was because I don't know I just didn't feel great so I didn't finish that because it's quite a not the best job to do when you're not feeling like 100% um but my mum found a way to block off one of the corners and I just need to start the fencing so I'll do that soon and I've just finished a wash for all the um guinea pig fleece so I'm gonna go hang this up on the line now Okay guys, so I'm pretty aware of the fact that I haven't brought this up. It's just the fact that I have now published my shop. So I'm super happy about this and you can now buy the cages off there if you want to. If you are looking for CNC cages, I do have a stock of them on my website now. So that's pretty exciting. I went live, was it day before yesterday I think? So yeah, like you can... Now go on there and check it out and all the cages are available so I am super excited about that. Hopefully you guys are as well. And I got this app which is the Wix app and I didn't know you could do this. I'm just looking at my phone right now by the way. Um, on the Wix app but basically it lets you see, you know, every time I get a visitor I get a notification and it basically 
just tells you know what pages people are looking at and interested in so it re it's really helpful for me to know what's working what isn't and yeah you can also I also have this live chat thing now so I can you know chat if you guys have any questions whilst you're on the website I, when I'm available I will enable that feature so that's pretty cool as well so we'll link that down below and you know you can go check out the cages if you're interested guys open the door for like a minute and Vinny's already in my bed bless him he loves it on here don't you is this nice I don't think you've ever probably been on a bed before have you no because he's not allowed upstairs in the house so I mean obviously he has the sofas but oh <laughs> He's like lying on a mattress right now, so he'll like that. Vinny, you look so cosy, that is so cute. Here's my washer, I just need to get post out of the shed to kind of prop it up a bit. I figured that I've not really filmed much of the outdoor guinea pigs lately. There's not really been much going on to be honest, they're all getting on absolutely fine and yeah it's getting pretty cold at the minute so they're not going out as much as they normally would but I'm still trying to get them out you know every couple of days or so or every day if possible. Um, I'm not sure where Bramley is right now, by the way this area does need a clean, I cleaned the hutch yesterday but this outdoor area is probably due. Where is Bramley? What have you done with them? I bet, oh he's really snug under there, I'm not going to disturb him but I need to top up that hay rack for them. Wow. So I'll just pop the camera over here. Vinny is absolutely loving this room. He's just loving this bed. <laughs> the thing is though, if I did let him come out here and sleep with me, he would just do this and he he pushes like with his back legs to get you off. So what are you doing, Vinny? <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure that's the best plan. Um you can't stay out here overnight, darling, but maybe in the day sometimes. Cause he loves it. You really do, don't ya? <laughs> got a bit of a scratch there, have you? Have you got a bit of a scratch? Have you got a bit of a scratch? <laughs> Vinny really doesn't like his feet touching either. I just do it to wind him up sometimes. <laughs> oh, you're gonna fall off. He's actually falling off. <laughs> Be careful. You, you're gonna get stuck. That's it. Wait. Don't go up there, please. Please don't go up there, because I won't get you back out. <laughs> oh dear. I should probably shut you two in. Come on. <laughs>